Do you know how many mint condition 71 Buick Rivieras are left on the road? Almost none. This man stole something from me that is almost irreplaceable. And easily identifiable, which means he can't use the freeways. He knows Brock is after him. He has to assume we'll have put out an APB. So his only option is to find some place to hide until dusk and then travel at night. Well, that narrows down to search every barn, garage, or haystack in the greater Michigan area. Every barn has a farmer, Ray, and every garage has an owner. Without time and friends, it's not that easy to find some place to hide. He's wanted on both sides of the border by both sides of the law. He's got nowhere to run. If he dents it, I'll kill him. My father said something that's always stuck with me, Ray. Your father never shut up, did he? He said a man with no future will always run to his past. And when did this come up, Fraser? Were you sitting around at breakfast when he came up with these things? Or did he come running into your room and just blurt them out? Ray, there's no need to be sarcastic. No, I'm just curious. How did he work these things into everyday conversation? Did he say, son, did you see the size of that moose? And by the way, a man with no future will always run to his past. Ray. I'm sorry about your shoe. I thought you didn't want it anymore. You know what my father used to say? A man without a car is nothing. And I don't want to be nothing anymore, Fraser. It's hard on my socks. You went that way. Why? Does a man with no future always turn left? No, he's gone to find the pancake house. There is no pancake house. It's a lie, just like everything else that's come out of his mouth. I don't think so, Ray. People tell lies for a number of different reasons. Because they're ashamed, because they're insecure, sometimes because they're in trouble. But they always hope to gain something from their lie. Money, prestige, pity, sometimes even freedom. And his story about the pancake house, he stood nothing to gain by it. He told it because it's true. He let us see a little glimpse of who he really is. And then he got angry because we saw that. That pancake house exists. It may be the only place around here where he feels safe. I think he's gone to find it. I bet he used my lighter. All right, here we go. Need a lift? Oh, yes, thank you. Not you. Which way are you going? Well, we're traveling together, man. Ditch him. I'll go without him. Not likely. Too bad. If you ever get to Miami, just ask for Rhonda. You see that? Women always judge you by your shoes. Well, I don't think she was sincere in her invitation, Ray. I mean, how could a young woman possibly be known by her first name in such a large city? Frazier, your father taught you nothing, you know that? Okay, enough is enough. I'm the law, and I need a lift. Uh, Ray, I don't think he can possibly read your badge from this distance. Whoa! But I could be wrong. Well, they can read this. Ray, brandishing a weapon is not going to encourage motorists to come to our aid. Fraser, look at me. I have one shoe. I am covered in mud, and I'm standing with a wolf and a guy dressed like who knows what. No one in their right mind is going to stop and give us a lift without the threat of deadly force. Hey, you folks stranded, eh? Canadian? Go on, eh? How'd you know? Now, we're officers of the law, sir, and we're pursuing an escaped perjurer. We'd very much appreciate a lift. It will hop on in. Thank you kindly. Sick country you have, Frazier. 